The Night Shift is a real play D&D video and podcast series for mature audiences. Content warnings can be found in the episode descriptions. Last time on the Night Shift. Um, <laughs> Very introverted as a group. Up in a while. Could be. Yeah. Keep it up. Yeah, I mean, imagine <laughs> role playing in a role playing game. It's fucking crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I earned that one. Oh. <laughs> I can't scrape together gold. My soul's already sold. So if you're trapped under a spell, I wish you well. And if a creature roams your streets, you do better to. I turned to Tom and Atelius and I'm like, guys, we should maybe figure out what what is happening with this charm, but only one of us needs to be charmed. So maybe I can somehow spark using a magic stone. Maybe I can spark Timbo out of it. Uh, I just mean, it's probably worth a shot. I mean, at this point, uh, I'm going right? to let go. Don't I'm you agree? Let go. We have to figure out what, what is happening with this yeah. charm sensation? Yeah, I mean, that, we lose Bill. Or, I mean, <laughs> what if you, like, vine them and maybe we can get them to snap out of it? Can you hold them down in any way? I don't want to use a spell slot. Ah, yeah, yeah. I feel you <laughs> on that. <laughs> I feel you on that. Um, <laughs> True. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to take, take stones and cast magic stone, and I, now I've got three of them, um, and I literally, like, just... Toss a little, like, flick the pebble at his uh, arm and see uh -huh. if it, and it explodes. And hopefully, like, that wakes him up. Roll damage, huh? Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to roll damage? Do you remember what that is? Uh, ma magic stones. It's uh, probably one die four. Oh, oh it's uh, plus two to hit, one d6 bludgeoning. Yep. But you don't need to roll to hit. Just roll the one die six. Five. Five points of damage. And how is he doing? Here's the good news. Okay. He's five points down. For me. It was good news for me. Did I not ah, say that? Ah, wow, dude. It's fine, mate. I'm not worried about measly five. You basically throw a firecracker at his arm. The heroism thing okay. doesn't work for that? And, okay. And, and not he didn't do anything. He's still just walking. Well, I, I followed your lead last time. I'm going to point a crossbow at Tempo. Oh, no. Wait, <laughs> whoa, I think whoa, Payne's whoa, not going to do whoa. anything. No? I, I don't think Payne's going to do anything. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I misread. My bad. My bad. My bad. That's my bad. I thought we were doing an escalating damage no, thing. We should probably, uh, we yeah, should probably not do that. Just <laughs> <laughs> render him unconscious. Um, hey, can we lasso him? No. Can we lasso oh, him? Man. But not us. Not everybody who broke it or everybody? Not, not Tom. Oh, god damn. But the other two. So, so everybody either? No, you're, you're still. I'm, okay, so I don't, I don't have a chance to get out of it. Not at present. Mm. Two is 11. Oh, shit. 11. Yeah. Uh, uh, five plus four, so nine. Nine. Uh, uh. You guys all come to on the inside of the Bone City of Falcone. Me your too. I black heavy, out. You're sweating. Um, no, Tom, you're you're. I'll fill you in. Okay. Moment. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. You all come to sweating, heavy legged. You've been like mouth breathing. You can tell like your mouth oh, feels like dry. That. And you're standing inside of this, like, seemingly bustling city. Tom, for your part, what you witnessed was everyone just suddenly go slack dog. Yeah. And start walking. So Being I, that you were small. I was thinking that that was going to happen. Well, I was thinking that was going to happen. And at this point, I'm fighting it. So I want to act like I'm slack jawed and follow them. I was just going to go slack jawed and just walk after them. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Roll performance. All right. Uh, ten. I mean, I have so much fucking performance. If I could get a goddamn good roll, ten. Plus six. I'm rolling like fucking six every time. I'm sorry. What was the performance roll? Yeah. 
yeah, I think you do your your best, like sort of uh, Shaun of the Dead, yes. zombie impression, drag exactly. your leg a little bit. Um, <laughs> hard. I'm not sure what that was, Tom. <laughs> You're getting gassy. Uh, it's the jelly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's really, yeah, exactly. He's exactly. Out, exactly. He's, he's really coming, coming he's down. Coming down. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, as you sort of walk up to this thing, full, fully aware, yeah. still hyped up on the on the jelly, um, you're sort of taking it all in. Um, Falcon has shiny white walls, and as you get closer, you can tell these are like large hexagonal like panels almost of, of like some sort of like metallic looking uh, material. Um, the walls are relatively low. They're like, they're like maybe 10 feet high and extremely thick. Like when you walk through this quote unquote gate, it's um, like you're walking through and, and these, these walls are at least as thick as they are tall, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Ten feet thick, you know, at least, sure. Yeah. Um, make a what sort of check do we want to do for this. Let's make a nature check, Tom. Oh, don't mind if I do. Test me. Uh, it's a 19. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Who really knows about the woods? This guy. Or the bone yard. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. I know all about bone and son. I've never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> the bone yard's what they used to call your backyard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> it's where boning goes to die. Lin Lindsay's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kestrel. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get into this place and start looking around, you can tell that essentially these walls are the skeletal remains of an, a massive ancient dragon. Ah. So you've walked in like the, the tail of this thing, and the further you walk the, down this sort of main thoroughfare in Falcoon, you look over and you can see East City, West City, each wing. The town is built entirely within the skeletal remains of this dragon that has sort of formed the walls. Uncle Dave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. It took me a second. <laughs> He's an uncle. Uh, yeah, it's an uncle Dave. He's a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Took me a minute. Um, Come on, the, the dragon bone walls, the outside of them are affixed with dragon scales that either were always white or have been bleached white by the sun. All and so right. we're, we wake up. From you all wake up, and Tom is still. Uh, <laughs> convincingly uh, slack uh, y'all. Uh, I mean, you stop now. Oh, y'all are awake. We're, we're, we're good. Yeah, we're we're good. good. Dude, what happened? Uh, guys, this entire, everything around us, this is an ancient dragon skeleton. Uh, trust me as a nature expert. I know, okay? I know. This is fucking crazy. This entire right city's wall? made out of dragon. Bill raises his hand. Yes, Bill. This is the bone city of Falcoon. Yes. Is Falcoon the dragon? Yes. Well, that would have been nice to know. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, Bill, if you knew this the entire time, why didn't you tell us, like, uh, like I don't know, like, two days that we were walking? Oh, God. gosh. I'm, don't I didn't know. blame Bill. Right. It's my first adventure. Yeah, right. we should have asked more questions. I got Wait, a little is this scared. still count as my first adventure, or am I on a no, secondary? No, you're on your third or fourth. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you've been on a couple. You just didn't you realize it. several long rests. Yeah, you should have leveled up by now, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as a matter of fact, we all should have leveled yeah, up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yes, so you're so good with that knife. Yeah. He said, yes, so um, Falcoon is, is framed on all sides by, by the skeletal remains of, of Falcoon, which was a, an ancient dragon. Um, you've literally never heard of Falcoon. So what? Uh, They're like never an inch story. I haven't seen that in a long time. What happened outside the gates, mate? What do you mean? Well, we uh, now I was outside the gates. Now I'm inside. The oh, gates. I, well, I don't tell, know anything uh, about that. All y'all just uh, started walking like, Idiots, uh, and just I mean, just like, so like uh, and yeah, I mean, well, for Castro at least, and then it was just like, uh, and uh, I don't know, we just walked in this city, and then all of a sudden, y'all woke up. Mm. Like I assumed that something was going to happen to us or greet us, but you know, here we are. Are we next to a, one of these walls? Yeah, I kind of knock on it. Uh, and Several people stop and stare. Dragons, dragon like scales. like this place is kind of bustling, and they all just kind of. 
huh? stereo. The stereo, like, why the hell heart. did he just do that? Maybe you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. No. I'm going to cast precedentation oh. and clean the blood off my face. Guess I don't want to be knocking on the dragon scales. I was He's, just seeing if it was real dragon. Bill says, hey, so, so. Could you tell? Just from the knock? <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Bill well, sounds, points. Sounds like a dragon scale. Bill points at a tower that's towards the back of the city. He says, that's, that's the citadel of the High Seer. Mm -hmm. um, citadel he, of the High Seer? This is sort of his uh, domain, his, his city, if you will. There used to not be people here, so I'm not sure how he got. Gearnich Lincoln? Gearnich Lincoln. Yes. So yes. a very giant good, bone tower? Down the center of the city? Y yes, it's built from the vertebrae of the, of the dragon. Oh, mm, okay. Never mind. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> yes, so, um, you know, he's, he's, I don't know, he's, he's uh, what's the, the magic guy in Sarayan? Uh, Zenodorov Hyron? That's it. He's like him. But, you know. Evil? Not nice. Mm, not I don't nice. know if he's evil. I mean, I sort of try to uh, assume the best in people. <laughs> well, you would, Bill. You would. <laughs> that. Thank you for that, Bill. Should... Keep being you. Are people looking but, at us? Like, are these all humans around us? Uh, all humans. I wouldn't say they're they're looking at you um, so we much. Get they some um, coffee. They glancing <laughs> as they walk you by. You want us? coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I was the the whole talk about dragons. I got in the mood for chicken wings because I was thinking okay. about dragon wings. Coffee and wings. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm standing right here. <laughs> oh, oh, we're not eating oh, dragon so wings. Uh, we're eating chicken wings. I was thinking about dragons with their wings. He was uh, thinking about dragons, he said, which made him think about chicken. Well, animals. I mean, admittedly. Dragons have wings. And like, yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm, I don't want to eat you. Well, I, I love uh, you, but I love chicken. Coffee, though. Yeah, coffee yeah, and chicken. Coffee I agree. sounds good. Brilliant. Way to change it. Good job. So, so what? The plan is to wander around? <laughs> <laughs> find find coffee. Bill, coffee Bill, do you, you well, seem to know a lot. Do you know where coffee while, is? While looking for a coffee shop, also keeping an eye out for the MMO. Yes. Keeping an eye out for the MMO. Okay. I lean over and I touch the dragon <laughs> walls yeah. again. Ugh, what a if faux you just pas. just touch it? Yeah. Nothing really happens. Touch it. Nobody looks at me weird? Mm -mm. What if I punch it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you punching it? I yeah. We, yeah, you I punch it and everybody stops and one person like walks up to you and he's like, Could you not? You must be new here. Yes. Yes. Don't do that. Why? Will it hurt it? No, it's dead. Right, so why does it matter? That's fair. I mean, that's a good half. Um, you're new. I get it. We, we all arrived this, the same way. Like this? Like, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 this guy kind of giggles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, like, like that. Um, you've not heard of Falcoon? The, the Curse of Falcoon is... What about it? Is that... Giernich, and he sort of gestures to the tower behind him, wanted to populate his city. He placed a curse, and it drew people in. That's been happening for centuries. So what are you saying? They can't leave oh, once oh, we're oh. in there? Like, whenever we try and start to walk away from the city, we get immediately drawn back? Hotel Falcunornia. <laughs> 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 we have arrived. <laughs> 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 Let's pack it up. It's not going to get better. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to get better than that, guys. Oh, <laughs> the thing is, like, that was such a stretch, but <laughs> everybody was like, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Like, Hotel Falcon Ornia. Yeah, <laughs> oh. Look, so my family, for, for example, has been here for two centuries or so, Whoa. we think. People what you... sometimes try to leave, but what happens is you, you go out and you come back in. Mm, yes. The weak-minded do seem to be susceptible to the city's charms. He I pulls agree. out a dagger and holds it up. What was that? Whoa, hey, guy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking relax. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, like, what are we doing here? You don't want to do this, dude. What was that? Trust me. I offer oh. him some of the jelly. Whoa, 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 easy does it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need that. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> Tom grabs it. He's in his pocket. trying to calm him down. Figure that he sort of puts it back in. Okay, sorry. Hair, tr hair trigger. We got off hair. on the wrong foot. What's your name, <laughs> kind sir? Kirdal. Kirdal. 
Kierdel. Kierdel. Yes. Kierdel. Lovely to me, Kierdel. So Kierdel. you're really saying that if we try and walk out of the city, we'll just want to turn around and come right back. You could try. Go right ahead. Fabulous. People do it every day. They turn around and come right back. So no one has ever left the city and not returned? Oh, of course not. Uh, uh, Giernich leaves all the time. Why, why does he want to have a city? Oh, to collect taxes? Is this like a political thing? So when he first started, the dragon wasn't uh, dead. What? People were living inside of a living dragon? Sorry. He <laughs> imprisoned it? And uh, I guess torture. Tor- torture is the word, I guess. The he dragon. Did. This dead dragon. The ancient dragon, yes. And people sort of lived on the uh, on the outskirts a bit. Okay, so Kestrel is immediately, like, her face is kind of, like, turning red with, like, suppressed rage. Under the ash that's of, still on of, face. Yeah, under, <laughs> under the ash of just, like, the fact that this asshole would imprison a dragon and torture it and use... Yeah. She's, she's like, really Seething. reining it in. Yeah. She's, like, really struggling not to, like, basically strangle this guy in front of him, but it's not his fault. So it's just really Kirtle sad. says, um, yes, the, the, that's how they say Giernich learned all of his dragon magic was torturing this, this uh, Alcoon. Does um, he have a brother named Davik? Not as far as I know, but... I've never been outside of this city, so... So you know where the best coffee is. <laughs> Can we go get some while we talk? We're looking for the post? He goes, follow me. It's on us. It's, you know what? With the whole dagger thing, I feel bad. Let's go. We're all on edge. All right. Um, so as you're kind of walking yes. to, to the, the coffee shop or the cafe, um, he, he kind of tells you a little bit about, about the city. Basically, built into this, this massive skeleton is the engine of a city that used to run on an enslaved, tortured, magical creature of incredible size. Those were the old days. They talk about it in terms of, you know, the old town, which was built around the dragon. The new town is built inside the dragon. And everywhere you turn, you kind of see evidence of this, and he keeps pointing it out. He points out the marrow mines that are still operating. This is how we feed the whole city is from the marrow mines. Where Here's they- a, why, why were you so upset when I punched the walls? What? I mean, it's dead, right? So it's all we have. This is what feeds us. Do you eat dragon bones? The marrow. The marrow. Oh. Oh, like you don't grow anything in here? We can't. Nothing grows. And as you look around, as he says that, you look around and realize you haven't seen anything green in. God knows it's all like long. snow and, and, mm, and it's like, barren. Yeah, it is like, snow, but it's also like barren. Yeah. Okay. Kittle, even, uh, even in a snowy environment, you usually have like. Like moss and stuff, like, mm-hmm. like lemmings and stuff. There's nothing like that. Okay. How many people live in this town? I think it's thousands, maybe. Yeah. Would you like to leave? Sure. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's all I, it's all, it's all I know. Um. Mm. The look, the, I've eaten at the same marrow mine every day for my entire life. I go to the same blood pub after work. No offense, blood but that pub. sounds. That really, really boring. Do we have any, like, jerky or anything? It sounds boring. It's our complaint. <laughs> <laughs> Not, hey, you might be enslaved. It's Boy, that sounds just boring. Yeah, it's like you're in quarantine. I want to hear more about this uh, blood pub. It's, um, it's uh, an alcoholic beverage oh, made from the remaining oh, here we go. congealed blood of a dragon. What sounds, do you make your coffee out of? You can't really. snort it, can you? <laughs> The coffee's made out of uh, something else. I'm, I'm not sure. That's uh, not too many dragon liquids. Oddly yeah. unspecific, but beggars can't be choosers. Lead on. Um, yes. And then, and then you, the the high seer. He, they say that he dines on the the remaining gray matter of the dragon every night. That's what he has for dinner. In order to, he thinks that it'll that help. Doesn't go bad. He sort of shrugs his shoulders. He doesn't seem like the kind of man who lets things go to waste. He's using his magic to keep the dragon meat fresh. People say that it helps him absorb millennia of knowledge that the dragon has. But, you know, maybe he's just... I don't like this guy. And he sort of looks around suspiciously and goes, 
Maybe he's just fucked up. Yeah. I think he's fine. Yeah, we'll go with the Hell yeah, Kirtle. All right. Um, and it, he sort of like rubs his hands together. And he's like, so this is Bon Appetit. This is my favorite, <laughs> uh, my favorite cafe. Here we go. We're going to own this cafe by the end of it. <laughs> oh, it's like a franchise. <laughs> And if we don't own it, we'll just have lifetime membership cards. Right. Uh, I'll have one grande bone brew. What do y'all want? Make uh, that cold bone brew. Make that two. Yeah, the bone rooster gets uh, gets gets hustle on and starts making things. Kirtle, where's a, an MMO here? He sort of mass uh, magic missive office. He sort of shakes his head. God damn it. Do you have Bill? a place that... Bill! A post office. Do you have a place where you send correspondence, like Bill's letters? Head, Bill's head is shrunk, and, shrunk into a shell. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry, Bill. I haven't had my coffee yet. I, I didn't mean to yell. I thought they had one. It's a big, <laughs> it's a big place. <laughs> you know the turtle in the Robin Hood? Yeah. 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 Think of that. Beep, 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 Bill, you just saw this place on a map, and you didn't know. Um, okay, let's not blame yeah, Bill. I feel you, even though it's his fault. So maybe we could blame him. I don't know, actually. Gurgitz will know. He'll, he has one here. Gurgitz. Like, Gurgitz is good. <laughs> Gurgitz. I don't know about this Grinch fellow. Yeah. Kirtle, how can we get an audience with this high seer? He sort of. <laughs> um, uh, I. No one really wants to see him. I'm. Not, I'm sure if you tried, you could. He'd probably love the company. <laughs> you think he wants to eat Atilius? I'd like to see him try. <laughs> His head sort of tilts. I don't know. He takes your question very seriously, very literally. Uh oh. I look over at we'll Tom and you. like, thanks a fucking lot, dude. Well, I mean, look, no, I'm just saying maybe it's like a plan. Like we've used you as bait before. Or we could do it again. I just, I just, no. We fake human no. trafficked you that time. No. Take no. a sip of coffee. Do we have a coffee yet? Yeah. Yes, we have a coffee. <laughs> okay, can and we I, go drink some? I rub my arm, and I'm like, does anybody know why my arm hurts so much? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was my bad. Really small. Yeah, sorry about that. And Kestrel threw a uh, exploding stone at you. Well, yeah. I was trying to get you to wake up. But she did stop me from shooting with a crossbow. Yes. So, uh, that? you know. Thanks, Mike. You're you take welcome. the good with the bad. Um, you want to go you. try out some of this uh, blood beer? Yes, that's yes. Now, right, that I've had, now that I've had my coffee, I am ready for a brew. Let's he, lead the he way. You yell Kirtle's name, and he turns around with a knife in his hand. Oh, Kirtle, uh, <laughs> you're, you're a little jumpy. You need to relax. Down, Bill, keep an eye on that one. Uh, where, where'd you want to go? The blood pub. Yeah, blood the, pub. Uh, the, 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 the yeah the dragon's blood uh, brew thing. Do we pay them? The bar. Um, there doesn't seem to be any sort of transactional. Thing going on. You just come, you get what you want, and then you leave. All right. Yeah, you know, there's some a, advantages. Let's, let's go to the blood <laughs> pub and up. try to figure out a way that we can get to see the high seer. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. Maybe there's food at the blood pub as well. That'd I'm a little great. hungry. That'd be, yeah, I'm famished. Okay. You go to find a blood pub with Kirtle sort of leading the way. Um, and he, he kind of walks you over and it's just a nondescript building. There's, there's, this is the greatest concentration of people that you've seen, though. I mean, you walk in, unlike a bar or a pub that you'd be used to, where you walk in, there's lots of carousing and lots of noise. It's just quiet. Everyone's mm. just sitting in silence, drinking an ale that is deep, deep red. Mm. And just sort of staring at us. And Kirill sort of says, all right, well, um, this is this is a uh, Bonanza. It's my my favorite blood pub. Bonanza. Um, uh, uh, uh. It's my favorite pub. Uh, it's a really re really good time to to blow off some some steam. Kirtle, Doesn't look it like anyone's blowing pub? anything. No, there's there's other there's blood more. Pubs. Okay. You want to go down to Bonafide? Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Bonafide. Yes, actually, that sounds great. <laughs> no, this is good. This is good. Uh, okay, I, I I can't stay, unfortunately. I have some, you know, and he pulls out his knife stuff to do. So um, I'll see you guys around for sure. And he turns around and walks out. Or Thanks night. for your help. Yes. He sort of waves over, over his shoulder as he walks out. Been a pleasure. I think we need to charm this crowd. 
a performance of the ages, really. Take out your guitar. I think it's time for a song. <clears throat> Love that you guys walk into a cursed town and go, we should start a band. <laughs> uh, well, we need information, right? Um, information we see. All right. I'm going to chug my blood beer. And uh, is there a stage of sorts at all in here? Uh, no. No, it's not the kind of place. <clears throat> okay, I'll stand up at the bar then. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> excuse Tom, me. I pick up Tom Bombo and place him atop yes, the bar. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, uh, Make everybody. Make a saving throw at disadvantage. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a two. It's not going to show, I mean. Well, I guess I could roll one. Let me see this time. Yep. Uh, two. All right. A what? A wisdom thing? Wisdom saving throw. Two. Tom drains his ale. Grabs his sling, slings his uh, loot across his body, and then he holds his hand up to strum, and you see him just kind of his arm kind of falls, and he looks around kind of sullenly, and just kind of shrugs and sits down. Oh, you're gonna play a song, mate? And then he taps on. The I table. did too. Uh, I don't know what just happened. I just. I was like about to do it, and then now I was just sitting down. Um, Bartender comes over and just sort of drops another ale in front of you. Anybody else need anything? I don't think I want to brew anymore. I think I'm good. They're lovely. They, yeah, they look lovely. We just had a bunch of coffee. Quite a beautiful red color. Thanks. It's my own make. I guess I already drank one. You're uh, (laughs) a. You might as well drink another. You're new in town, aren't you? Yeah, how do you guess? Yes. yes. Yeah, you've just got that light in your eyes. Oh, oh you. no. Oh, Everything about silly. the city is so depressing. Oh. Um, Sir, Barkeep, what is your name, please? My name? Yes. Uh, Nicholas Ribcage. <laughs> um, All right, Nick. People call me Nick Cage. Yeah. Well, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, got so, <laughs> Nick... <laughs> We're we're hoping to get an audience with this overseer. Yes, the high septum. Um, he kind of the high <laughs> seer. The high seer. That's right. That's that's humorous. Why? Oh, I see what you did there. What a good. Pun. Oh um, wow! Yeah, I don't even yeah. think he knew it. Uh, it's like yeah. pulling teeth with no, this guy. No, he knew it. Okay, okay. Uh, um, uh-huh. what? How, why is that humorous? Is, does he uh, reside up in the skull? Yes, he's he's way up there in the tower. Oh, he's in the the vertebrae tower. Yes. Yeah. No one ever visits the high seer. The Why is that? The, the spinal stairs there. Why does no one visit? If you live here long enough, you you come to understand that he um. He pulls the strings, and we're 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 just sort of puppets on his stage. Don't you want to cut those strings? Every goddamn day. So how do we do it, mate? And he just sort of stares past you, Kestrel. Whoa. Heavy. Like we need to free these people. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> right so did you, did you want a, a blood ale? Or? No. To no. be honest. To be oh, honest. Well, well, well done. Well done. Uh, I don't want to go I, meet I, with this I guy. Love <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I love it. I don't want to go meet with this guy, but we need to. Okay? We got to figure out a way out of here. No one leaves. Is there anyone who works directly under the high seer? Anyone we can talk Everyone. to? Not like a right hand man or anything or woman oh, or no. No. Just it's like um, if you were gonna uh, draw an org chart, it would be like the high seer, and then everyone else. <laughs> really? That's. So a lot dysfunctional. Of, okay, right? you okay, can do yeah. I mean, but hey, a lot of opportunity Other for than- us. <laughs> <laughs> We're immediately on the same level as everybody else. Because <laughs> I'm hoping for like VP of operations. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I would like to be mayor. Am I the mayor of Bone Town now? <laughs> so they called me back in Bard College. <laughs> <laughs> he's he sort of nods. That's good. <laughs> Doesn't appear Jesus to get it at all. Jesus Christ, you people! <laughs> Other than being the barkeep here, uh, d- is there anything else that they make you do? I serve blood ale. Yeah, all day, all day, all, all night, all night, every night. You don't sleep. 
And that's that's your job? Everybody here has a job? Everyone has a job. Everyone pulls their weight. I look Should around. we just, like, go walk to the tower? So the, I, think we, I, I think it's time to go visit. <laughs> I, I mean, we we get these, these people, too. The, yeah. the yes. to this, is, this is definitely <laughs> not my kind of shindig, if you know what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone no. who has made a pun is getting an inspiration die. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Well, that sounds like everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just, I feel like we need to get them to rise up somehow, but I don't know how to do that. They, they're just By drinking this. The Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> da, da. Boy, I really should have seen this coming. Yeah, he lives <laughs> on top of Mount Crumpet. Right there. <laughs> it's off in the distance. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I said we make our way up to the to the to the These people's dragon hearts skull. Will grow two sizes today. It's I mean, this guy never get, Gr- Greenwich never gets to talk to anyone. Like, no, he's gonna. He's he gonna, might like us. He's gonna enjoy our company. Davik likes us, and he's very. Evil. That's a really good. Point. Also true. Let's, sure. Let's, let's just go. go. It is a weird flex, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? The spinal staircase. The yeah, the, the tower. Yeah, we're gonna go we're to, head the, to tower. the tower. All right. Uh, you walk straight through this thoroughfare. No one really bothers you. You arrive at this very large, like spinal tower, and tap, there's tap. just an. Oh, it's like a spinal tap. I get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna let it ride. The door is just open. Yeah. There's no guard or anything. So what you're looking at is a spiral staircase. Maybe like a detect magic on the door or an arcana check. Oh, Which yeah. one is it? Hit it up. Uh, or what, are, what am I rolling? Arcana? Uh-huh. 18. 18. Yeah. When you walk through that door, you're aware that um, nothing bad will happen to you. Are you done? Are you still doing the tongue thing? Or? Yeah. Okay. That's how I check? Yep. <laughs> That's on me. Should have known that. Um... <laughs> No. At least not the dragonborn. Taste the air. Oh, I've adopted his ways. You become. You're very aware that there's like a, a magical sheen on this door, mm. and it won't harm you, but it, it perhaps is some sort of uh, alert or something. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe it lets him know if you enter or something like that. Uh, fellas, I think he's gonna know that we're coming uh, if we go through this door. Well, yeah, this is some sort of all-powerful uh, dragon wizard. It's a very that fair we're going point. to talk to. That's a very leave. fair point. No. Hey, but then we we're going to find out what's going out. on. We're going to walk back. Yeah, we're going to walk back. In. We can't leave. We try. I could right, not. We leave. could not figure out how to uh, how to get y'all out of yeah. there. We want to leave. We have to go talk to this. I mean, guy. I could probably walk out. But talk to him. You, you mean kill him? No. I mean, I don't I know if we, we need him. to go there. You want to kill him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sure. No. Yeah. No. Exactly. We can we can kill the guy who enslaved and tortured an ancient dragon. What are we talking about here? But what about all the people here that can't leave? Thank you. Yeah. No. Look. Enslaved people drinking blood that makes them numb to the world. It's not that I don't want to kill him, but as y'all just pointed out, he enslaved and tortured and killed this ancient dragon. Created a city from its bones, and now has ensorcelled thousands of people that live here and eat fucking blood and bone marrow all day. Well, hey, for, hey, for those keeping Scrabble score at home, ensorcelled is mega points. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you uh, not remember? What I we don't just know. Did? We can fight this guy. <laughs> a yeti almost kicked our ass. <laughs> we have Bill though. <laughs> Bill. Uh, Bill. <laughs> Bill, Bill's twice in. <laughs> and it's not impressive. <laughs> Um, you guys look over and he's just flexing. <laughs> oh, Bill, we're counting on you. Fuck it. Um, Get the knife out. Whoa. The blue Whoa. ghost guy might show up again. Let's go. All right, I'm in. Well, right. no, no, no. <laughs> we do have magic wands. Do, I yes, forgot yes, about yes. that. All right, you, hell yeah. You do make a very good point. Maybe we should see if there's anybody else who can possibly do any magic who's willing to align with if us and help us out. But we can't leave the city to find that person. No, they might be in the if they're town. In, if they're no, in here, they're with him. Yeah. Well, I'm okay. He's not going to let someone like that we're just roam around the but city. But there might be a resistance go somewhere. I mean, we didn't look too hard. Maybe there's some sort of resistance to Kester's point. Why, no. Why don't uh, coffee we... was horrible. <laughs> you just went from let's go kill him to like, hold on, let's go do something it was, else. It was, it was no, definitely he's... not coffee. I don't no. feel anything. It was, uh, no, that coffee was I don't even think that was beer. That was just uh, blood. I don't think there was any caffeine. You drank it. It was disgusting. Everything in this city is made from leftovers of a dragon, and you drank something brown. You figure it out. Uh, 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 that's just poop water. <laughs> hey, uh, did it wake you up? 
Uh, Did I get uh, dragon yes. knowledge? Let's, uh, let's oh, start, no. Let's start climbing <laughs> the stairs. I said we go up the stairs. Let's go. Through the door and up the stairs. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Yeah. That's a move. Okay, but we are not entering with the intention of fighting him. No, I'm not no. saying it won't come to no. that. conversation first. We okay. go introduce ourselves and We're new to town. find out okay. what's going on while we can't leave the city. Whose name should we drop? Davix? Senators? Davix? We are kind of friends with Davix. We should say we're friends with Davix. I think so, too. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, absolutely. why do you think you're friends with Davix? He was, like, super <laughs> he does, kind. He, us. he yeah. doesn't want to kill us. Greg doesn't know that. It's fine. Yeah. I don't want to kill you. It doesn't, like, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm your friend, right? He no, was, but no, we, but he was, but like, you're not a Davix Gorsman. Yeah. We've been to his house of lavender. We, like, we can pick a lot. He served us yeah. cheese and, yep. you know, and fancy yeah. wines. And yeah. 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 You guys have a, such a low bar. You're all damaged children <laughs> i i feel like that's we're kind of friends. don't want to murder us that's my best friend he hates dwarves <laughs> not are we us. damaged or are we just really good at business relations yeah. yes. oh, 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 oh. maybe somebody Look, drops a... like a like a like fuck xenador room in there or something so oh, we can yeah. be like you know kind of yeah. butter him up oh, a little bit like yeah, yeah i love him. playing the double agent move i, bill, I really bill's love... raising his hand bill hey um sorry bill, just a bill. quick bill. just a quick um just a thought that i was going to throw out there since we were all you know, banding back and forth. Bill, forward. come on. I'm slowing things down. That's what you're saying? Yeah, come on. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, get, get out, Bill. What's going on? Oh, We're rolling. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, he starts, like, kind of bouncing up and down impatiently. He's like, okay, yes. Um, so what I was thinking... Because we're all ta talking about it right now, yes. and, and it's a plan. Yes. We're gonna make, we're gonna make a plan, and the plan that I was thinking that we could maybe um, do is is mess, less less cussing because it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> For fuck's sake! You know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's a bad idea. Tom, watch it's a bad idea. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry, Bill. That's I apologize. I felt very rushed. I'll try to do that. Bill, thank you for Thank you, Bill. It's okay. <laughs> deep breath. Bill, take a deep breath. breath. Take a deep breath. Take a breath. It's okay. Out. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're all on edge. The city is absolutely depressing me. I wanted to sing a song earlier. They shut it down. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm very snappy right now. I apologize, yeah. Bill. I appreciate you voicing your concerns, Bill. Yes. We, we should try to watch our language. Yes, we should. Your concerns are duly need. noted. It was just yes. around the kids, you know? Well, are there kids there's other kids? Do you have kids? Not, yeah, I, I consider myself sort of a child at heart. Oh, that's uh, that, that's good. Just oh, understand, in the heat of battle, yeah. things may be said. Watch out for this guy. Yeah, it's like a different thing. That's like the the okay. uh, the, the skirmish we got into. Yeah, back there. Um, yeah. Oh, I was really nervous. Public speaking's not my thing. You did great. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> up the stairs. Up the stairs. Upstairs. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys go upstairs. Yeah, a couple more ding, 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 ding. Um, are we trying to like stealth at all, or are we just no, going? No, no, we're just no. going straight in. He knows. I mean, he no. knows, right? He knows. Yeah, he yeah. knows. He knows. We know. He knows. We're not being secretive here. We know yeah. that he knows. Yeah. That they know. That, that no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows. Maybe I don't know. I know that you know that he knows that I know. We know that he knows we're here. Exactly. I caught none of that, but let's keep going. Um, you get almost to the top. You can see like the the opening, and then you guys have to wait for about. 10 minutes while Bill climbs the stairs behind him. <laughs> he is uh, 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 sucking air by the time he gets to you guys. Uh, and sort of puts his hands on his knees. And, it's good. It's a rest. It's good. I'm, um, let's do it. Let's, let's, f uh, let's, f uh, going, let's push. Let's go. And through the go. nose, out through the mouth. We're just going to speak to this fella. Yeah. No fighting. If he's even home. Breathe in your diaphragm. Do turtles have diaphragms? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> good question. I'm not a doctor. It's a joke. Not a, not a good one. I'm feeling very nervous now. I know. I know. Are, are we at the Do you need to wait like outside the door and we'll just go? I've read myself out of the room. That's what it is. You guys okay, don't want to no, be no, in the no, party. No, Bill, no, 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 Bill. No, 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 You're on this no. adventure with us. Right, we need on, someone on, to watch. This is like my fifth adventure. So. We need someone to watch the door in case someone else is coming up and you can let us know. That's actually you're true. You're guarding the door for us. That good point. does sound like a Bill job. Yeah. Yes, it's definitely a bill job. All right. So I just stand here and um, make sure no one's coming in. Yes. Us. Yeah. If they are coming in, I... Give us a whistle. Run in the room and let us know. I made, made the whistle was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, tur turtles can't whistle. Okay. No can do. What can, can you have like a... Just knock on the door. Yeah. Just, what? And you slap your tail against the door? Yeah. Yep. There you go. Got it. <laughs> Three times. I'm your man. Three times. Three times. Three, right. three, three tails. Pop, pop, pop. Just like yeah. that. Done. Right, cool. Done. Pop, That'll pop. Do it. <laughs> pop, pop. It's <laughs> a good community reference. Yes. Uh, 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 pop, pop. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. So should we knock on the door to- Oh, there's no door. Is it, we just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just an opening. 
Because well, we've all been sitting here talking. He can knock on the stairs. Yes. He can knock on the yeah. stairs. <laughs> Let's go through the opening. Okay. Kester will lead the way. Through, yeah. 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 You guys walk through the opening, and there's there's this large, very lavish like living room. Behind that, there's like a balcony or a sitting area that, that looks over Falcon. And sitting on the balcony with kind of his back to you is what you would assume is Gearnish LinkedIn. Um, smoking a cigarette and just kind of <laughs> lounging around. You look upset about the cigarette. Uh, tobacco doesn't have the same <laughs> negative effects here. It's a tripe or, or whatever. Yeah, it's a tripe. It's a pipe. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. Yes. Get his attention. Um, Grinch. I mean, <laughs> Gear, I mean, Gearnish. Uh, hi. You see his hand go up with the cigarette in it, and he just kind of waves you in. Oh. Okay. All right. I guess oh, yeah. yeah, I guess. Um, I just walk, walk Where, wait, so he's sitting back to us. He's sitting on a couch? He's probably like 60 feet away from you. Like back to us, though? Like we would see the back of uh, him? Kind of like, yeah, back and like kind of the side. Of Are there other chairs around him where we can sit? Yeah, he's got like a big sitting area on the balcony. All right, big, cool. big balcony that overlooks the city. Yeah. How's the view? We're about to find out. Once you get over there, you're going to find out. Yeah, well, right, well, let's walk there. over there. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsors. Yes. Uh, Bill's driving the, the carriage. There, there's a lot of, uh, uh, unfortunately, you guys have been stopped for, it's been like half an hour. Oh. Uh, you're, you're in the middle of Dragon Spear. What is this Baton Rouge traffic? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, I hate traffic. Bill goes, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I tried to uh, talk to the carriage ahead of us, and they said that, um, there was really nothing that they could do. And then they called me some names. Um, Bill, if you can't get us around this traffic, I'm going to go berserk. <laughs> oh, well, don't, don't worry about that, Timbo. Here, I got, I've got some delicious drinks I've been meaning to show you anyway. Look at this. Look at this ale here. Look oh. at that. What's that right there on the front? <laughs> well, it looks like my father. Uh, oh, it's berserker mode. <laughs> a Baltic porter with coffee and cocoa nibs. Oh, wow. In the background, Kestrel is singing, party carriage, yeah. party <laughs> carriage. So this will uh, take the edge off. I might be okay sitting in traffic in this carriage, a party carriage. Mm. If I have a little berserker mode from Southern Prohibition Brewing over there in the fine state of Mississippi. Oh, Ugh. man. We Ooh, should, it's mm. got coffee. You know, I've got caffeine. I'm just... With Kestrel is wired now. I am wired. <laughs> well, you're going to have to beat me to that stripper pole here in the park here. <laughs> hey, so I'm yes. about to hop on that thing. Wow. Oh. I'm about to spin around it like a little top. Like a little spider monkey. Hey, wait, 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 Tom. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, Tom. Wait, wait. Wait. Come on. Wait. Is this three drink Kestrel? Wait, I, th I think this Wait. is it. We've, we're seeing it now. Party carriage. Party carriage. Party. Look, watch, watch this. I'm going to try to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin around. I'm going to do a flip and I'm going to land in Timbo's lap. Here we go. Oh, and, oh, 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 oh. Crikey. You, you missed, have to mate. roll for that, dude. You got, you got yeah, roll acrobatics. For that. Uh, I rolled a two. What does that mean? Oh, yeah. He, he does a flip and he lands. Uh, <laughs> Timbo, I guess you're pretty happy to see me. Oh, <laughs> oh, wrong uh, pole, mate. <laughs> I didn't know that I was doing such a good job. I almost wish that I had it. Uh, Yikes. Uh, I guess my... that's berserker mode now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think. Bill uh, rolls up the window between this <laughs> compartment and yours. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta want to see this. Well, this party carriage is uh, Where did this berserker yeah. mode fun. come from? Well, our good friends at Pelican Craft Brands have once again stocked our fridge with the finest of ales <laughs> from around uh, the entire realm. And berserker mode here, the Baltic Porter with cocoa nibs and coffee from Southern Prohibition Brewing over there in Mississippi. A great beer. Uh, Tilius, I know uh, you're a big fan of Southern Prohibition. I'm a very big fan of, of this beer and the brewery. They make tasty ales in this Baltic Porter hits on all the right notes with the coffee flavors. Yeah. Hey, do you want to smell each other, Atilius? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, my God. And then Tom and Atilius start making out. <laughs> In the oh. party carriage. In the party carriage. Party carriage. Castro party leans carriage. over and throws up over the side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could be having more fun somewhere else, maybe, but I don't know. Like, I, yeah, seems... we, I, I'd like to get stuck in traffic with you fellas more often, I think. Berserker mode. Berserker mode. Indeed. So what's this game, Magic the Gathering? What I, I've heard that. Well, do you have some money that you want to spend? Because, <laughs> Always. Uh, yeah. Because there's a lot of magic out there. You have a lot of disposable really income. 
if you want to go down this whole uh little wars has a great magic community don't they yeah every little friday wars. night yeah. that's actually where i heard of it uh look i mean if you haven't heard of little wars you're watching this it's, in, it's a game shop in baton rouge it's absolutely incredible whether you want to play Warhammer Fantasy, Age of Sigmar, uh, D&D, Blood Bowl, 40K, any tabletop gaming, any board games. I mean, I, I, I love going to Little Wars legitimately. So it's not just straight, like, fantasy and D&D stuff. You can, like you said, tabletop games, like board games and stuff. Everything. I've learned one of my favorite card games there ever called what? Dutch Blitz. Huh. Have you ever heard of Dutch, Dutch Blitz? No. Oh, it is a wonderful good game. Oh, okay. Whoa. And, Whoa. Tell and me it is so crazily addictive. Like a yeah. bunch of my friends over there play it, and it is so much fun. Huh. It's just wow. it's, uh, the cards, like a normal deck of playing cards? Yeah, I'll show it to you, Nathan. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, You're going to wear yeah. some wooden shoes or something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's cool, though. It's like you said, Chuck. So it's not just D&D. It's like you can go in there, and they can you can you can test games. Like You can run through games exactly. that you maybe want to buy. They'll play them for you. They'll, they'll, they'll you know DM it, run it whatever um you can rent games you can just bring friends in there and go play games like it's, i've also it's gotten incredible. a lot of my dice over at yep. ah, little yeah, okay. wars a lot of good paraphernalia nice yeah, well, yeah. we used to have tri problems like finding a house to play a board game that night like so everybody had kids or whatever else um yeah just go to little wars go to little wars you don't have to like reserve a table or anything you just show up and yep. as long as nobody's on the table you play. I think now you're starting to have oh, to. Oh, yeah. It's probably crowded now. enough now. <laughs> it's a little yeah. bit more crowded. <laughs> yeah, so, and you just set up, play. They're 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 awesome at, like, they'll walk you through whatever game. They'll show, you know, if you're looking for minis, they'll come and show you which ones are where. Um, I can't tell you how many times I have put off my D&D uh, &D prep until the last minute and then had to go buy a D&D &D, uh, mini an hour before a game starts. Yeah. And somebody walks up and says, what are you looking for? And I'm like, oh, I need like a goblin rogue who also has a hat for some reason. Like, oh, yeah, we got that right here. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy how, how much stuff they have now. Because uh, in, in years past, when you went to a gaming place, it was like slim pickings. And now, you know, that place is stacked to the rafters with. Yeah, they have a wall of miniatures. Yeah. yeah. Just a, the yeah, entire and, store. And even though you could probably get a lot of that stuff on Amazon or like other internet stores, you go there for the community, yeah. for the yeah. you support being local. there with your friends. Yeah, and absolutely you want to buy local and support. UFLGS, support your favorite local game store. They are uh they're the best. And um there's for the Marvel heads out there, there's a new Marvel game that they're all very obsessed with that uh is kinda sweeping the store, I heard. And so if you want to play Ooh. it, you can actually just go in and Ask Van, and they'll run you through a game. What's it called? I can't remember that. It's not the LCG. It's not Marvel Champions, which I think is what the LCG is. It's a um, it's it's a miniatures game. Uh, oh, I like that. Why yeah, don't you talk where, about, where like I you, think you battle about. like different. You, I don't know if it's objective based, but you have a squad basically. So, is that what it is? Marvel Crisis Protocol. Okay, there you go. So check that out. That I mean, they have it there, and it's a huge community right now. At, Little Wars for you Marvel guys. There you go. Right off of Jefferson Highway in Baton Rouge. Little Wars BR on Instagram. Find them on Facebook as well. Yeah. You guys walk over there, and it's it's a great view. Yeah. Um, wow. What kind of stands oh, out wait. to you, though, is from here, you can see the edges of this curse. Because you can see where the grass starts mm. and where the snow is. There's still snow in the grass out there, but it's it's clearly alive and, and grass. Um and then you can see all the people kind of moving amongst the streets. And as you look up, you realize, like, the, the dragon's, like, skull or the remains of it, that's what makes the top of this balcony. And as you turn around, you see Dearnish Linkton, who is a rather tall, sort of spindly human um, who's wearing, like, sort of traditional wizard garb, like a long uh, robe. The robe is um, dark red. And white. Okay. Um, does he look kind of like intelligent or dull, just like his curse, like the slack? Oh, he yeah, he definitely has. Uh, I don't know if I'd say it with light in his eyes, but he's all there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Get it? I I uh, love what you've done with the place. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, Davik told me what to expect, but, like, this <laughs> is a whole nother level. Uh, yeah, Gorsman. Of course. You sent us here. You didn't. Did the missive get through? Why would Davik send you here? <laughs> Castro, I mean, I can't explain it to him. <laughs> right, right. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Who are, who are you? 
uh, we're we're messengers. We're partners with with Gavin. Yes. And uh, he's clued us in on everything that's happening with Gildebrag. And we were honestly just coming in and and checking to see if there was anything that you needed from You're like consultants. Us. Yeah. In a way, yes. Sort sure. Of. Absolutely. What can you help me with? What do you need help with? Well, not- your town's coffee is horrible. Yes. Like, exceptionally bad. Do not drink that swill that they call coffee. You, have no- you got coffee? Well, oh, Right. You got another smoke? Yeah. Would you like oh, a smoke? Right. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Help you. Go root through the kitchen. I'm not getting up. I'm comfy. Where is it? Oh, I, yeah, okay. He I, just sort of waves towards the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to go I'm going to go in there. Back up and move towards the kitchen. Yeah, I'm going to go in you there. You guys go in there, root around. You find coffee, you find cigarettes, whatever. Okay, pipe, cool. rather. Well, yeah, it's pipe tobacco, yeah. I make I start brewing some coffee, yeah. Come sit, sit. Enjoy the view. Um, it's kind of nice up here. So, so when was the last time you saw Davik? Davik Gorsman? Yeah, yeah, the same guy. I lose track of time. Really? So perhaps that sounds nice. Perhaps a year or more. Okay, and um, he didn't tell you about us or anything, or about his master plan. Because he talked about taking yes. down your city, and you know, we just wanted to make sure that it was okay with you. You see him sort of, <sighs> Davik, take down my city. Davik is always selling some sort of snake oil. I'd love to say you're wrong. He's but... a confidence man, and I'm, I'm sorry that you've been taken in by him. If you need money, I'll, I'll give you some for your travels, but... Oh, so can, we can leave. Yes. Of course we can leave. Sure. Yeah. Why wouldn't we be able to? Why wouldn't we be able to? We're consultants. Oh, oh. the others. Those are um, my people. You You were sent here by Davik. Yes. Yes, it's just, you know, we found ourselves uh, affected similar to everybody else in this town. My we fault. Were... I didn't know you were coming. Quite yes. the charm you yes. built up. Yes. Uh, I bet it's, you. It's uh, a welcome, Matt. Yeah, no, absolutely. Look, I mean, I bet you Zinador couldn't do anything like that. Now firing that Fuck piece Zinador. of shit. Ugh, What's right. your problem with Xenador? Oh, he just, he's so Certainly over... Certainly not as good as you. Oh, he's just so overbearing sometimes, yeah. and his good and free will, and blah, blah, blah. Don't kill the dwarves, don't kill Gildebrad. It just goes on. Protect the children. It never ends with him. He sort of straightens up, and he puts out a cigarette. I think perhaps you should go. Like out of the city? Yes. We'll take that money and leave. Yeah. So we could just walk out <laughs> yeah. walk out of the gates where we came in and we're free to go. I'm sorry. No I'm problem. sorry. Did we say something to ab- upset you? I respect Xenador Alphavin a great deal. I oh. do too. <laughs> I was just venting. <laughs> <laughs> we don't always agree, but the man is smart. Wow. He can weave a spell. Really? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. He makes magic like you would not believe. You, yeah. like you would not believe. You, the like great Greenwich. <laughs> so about the well, money. <laughs> yeah. what, do you, what do you need? Uh, a few thousand. 10,000 gold. Oh. 10, <laughs> yeah. I meant I can give you some travel money to get you to... Are you going to High Home or are you going the other way? High Home. I'm going to High Home. I can give you 25 gold a piece to get to High Home. All right, cool. Cool. No, but Uh, what about the travel to get here as well? Just getting us to High Home. Okay, so while they're talking, I want to look around the room a little (laughs) bit, kind of just like put my hands behind my back and just kind of like, oh, look how pretty this, you know. Yeah, just sort of like idle glance, like idle looking around, looking at books and stuff. Yeah, Yeah, that sort of thing. All right, roll an investigation check. Ooh. 19 plus 2. 19 plus 2. Um, his, specifically with the books, his shelves are stacked with ancient tomes. Every last one of them is about dragon magic. What little you know of dragon magic comes from um, all the things that Ikek told you in the previous, a couple of episodes ago. Of course, who could have forgotten? 
<laughs> um, in the sense that that Dragon Magic does not follow the same rules, the same guidelines, doesn't have the same upsides or downsides as the magic that you're accustomed to. Is there any like uh, gray matter laying on any plates anywhere? Uh, um, let's say yes. In the kitchen, while you were rifling through, you saw like spongy gray material sitting on a plate, fork and knife, the whole shebang. Is there, is there a bathroom somewhere around here? I'm Garnish. Yeah, uh, geez, oh, sorry. Well, you know that spell that it's a powerful charm you put on the city. I think yes. my brain's still a little wobbly. A bathroom, you say? Um, I can just go in the kitchen and look. I'll just go in the kitchen and look. Nope. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's and he sort of points vaguely. You, okay. you find it after looking. Okay. I have a question. Tell me more about how you subdued this great dragon that surrounds your city now and that has become part of your city. <sighs> he sort of rubs his hands together. Alcoon was... He was beautiful. Majestic. Powerful. Unbelievably cunning. And I'd love to tell you the story, but there's... It's a little bit like giving away the secret sauce, yes? I want to eat some gray matter in the kitchen. <laughs> Just nibble a little gray matter, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't have notes for that one. <laughs> no. Didn't have notes for that one. <laughs> Just wasn't expecting it. Um, when you say nibble on, you mean nibble and swallow, right? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like bite a chunk of it. Bite a chunk out of it and eat it. Yeah. Honestly, how did you not see <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's talking also about eating true. gray he's matter. Like he puts everything <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> I mean, all the drugs. <laughs> That's a thinker. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you like tear off a bit, and it's like, from a tactile perspective, it is the grossest thing you have ever put in your hand or in your mouth. It is just <laughs> very mushy. It is mushy and slimy and like, like clumpy in ways that you did not expect. Um, mm -hmm. Just not a good texture. Well, and yeah, I think you totally have trouble like actually getting it down. <laughs> and when you do, all you feel is sick. Uh, I think you need to find that bathroom. Yeah, please. me too, dude. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> I drive to throw up. I think that's up to you. You feel nauseous for sure. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna immediately puke on the floor. <laughs> oh, sure. You're in the it was like it was like it was like it was like I like couldn't even control it. That's how gross it was. It really triggered yeah, your gag reflex. Yeah. Mm. Okay. He's gonna have a bone to pick with you. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. Can you give yourself inspiration? <laughs> I could. Yeah, I guess. But hey, enjoy that meal. Bonjour. Does he? Uh, do anything to? Uh, did we hear him? Yeah, yacking? did he hear me throw up? I don't think so. All right, okay. then I'm just puking in the kitchen. I would really, really like to know how you tame this dragon. As oh. someone who is dragonborn himself, I'm very curious. He sort of narrows his eyes. You see him like put on glasses. He... Are you dragonborn? How bad is your vision? Uh -oh. Yes, I am. Just kidding with you, boy. And he takes the glasses off and puts them down. Boy! How old are you? I'm old. <laughs> Not that old, but I'm old. Well, you can still run around around here. Yeah. He's 37. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, your, your father and oh, your no. father's father and your father's father's father lived and died. 130. Lived oh. and died all in my lifespan. I have seen things built and melt away. And I've built something here that is permanent. And yeah, when you say your people, like you think you own them. I provide them with a safe space. And they provide me with a place to live. You could have lived in this tower by yourself. I don't know why you need a, a whole city. Yes, 
Fair enough. You don't need to eat steak when you go to the restaurant. Mm, you can beautiful. have rice and beans. Oh, no, I can. You just... want steak. <laughs> Mm. And look, I... But the people down there aren't eating rice and beans, even. Your people are miserable. Yes. They, they want better. They're not happy. They want nothing. No, their, they do. Their they brains want... are a, a blank slate. And why is that? To be painted upon by yeah. an artist. Me. Like you, yes. Not like you. you. But did Me. you make them a blank state? Yes. He sort of like sits up in his chair, like like straightens his back. Am I being interrogated? Kinda. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, I was kind of. Kind of. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on my friend that's puking Sir. on your floor. <laughs> oh, I, I I assume that I didn't want to interrupt, but I assume that I just kind of walked yeah, back I into the room, back. feeling like just like kind of act sick. Just like oh. <laughs> that was a mistake. What is, what is your relationship with the the prince and the royal family at the moment? Uh, I'm the the vizier, the, the vizier. I, I advise them. You're a consultant. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I'm a consultant. I consult with them on all and things. S- and so you like them. They are a means to an end. What is well, your there end? There was no end. Exactly it. Yes, my end is is to have no end. Yes. To be internal. You know, is that what you're doing? You don't get bored? <laughs> <laughs> Tom threw a, threw a vomit burp. Just like, you don't get annoyed? Mm. Yeah, I'm ready to take him down. I, I don't get bored, no. I create new things every day. Every day I, I welcome new people. And watch old ones wither away. That sounds miserable. Yeah, that sounds boring. You don't understand the art that's being painted here. That's all. It's very it's okay. bad art. It's not for everyone. I love the dragon scales a lot. I am still trying to understand what Davik told you about his plan with, with Gildebrag and the prince and what they plan to do. I... We were sent, but because there is no magic missive office, we don't have a means to communicate with Davik. So we're just trying to make sure we understand what our orders are. So if you help us to to tell us what might that plan be. He kind of gets up and walks over to you. He kind of like shuffles across the room slowly. And he reaches over, Kestrel, to like your chin. And like touches your chin and moves your face to the side a little bit. Are you a cockress? Mm, uh, nope. That's complicated. <laughs> That's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I knew your family long, long ago. Oh wow. Cool. Best friends. <laughs> he sort of shrugs. Mm-hmm. Sure. And he ambles back to his seat. Uh, missives, you said? Yes. Mm. What sort do you need? And he walks over to his shelf and pulls out a book and kind of starts flipping through it. Oh. We were hoping to receive communication from a, a from friend. From who? Oh, I forgot his name. Uh, I don't know if we should tell. Davik, do Yeah, totally. Davik? Davik. He puts his hand on the cover of the book. Nothing for you from Davik? You're sure? You look... Confused. Oh no, it was. Uh... I don't know if you should tell him. You guys can't actually whisper because then people can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> people have to actually be able to hear what you're whispering. Right, right. You can just say it. Audio right. yeah, that's um, yeah. Should we tell him? He, he might know who Cedric is. No, you actually have to. You actually have to say it out loud. I know. I'm saying I mean, he might know who Cedric is. I don't, I don't know what to do here. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm know so sick. Either. No, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I mean. I, no, I, I but, he sort of nods. But seriously, you you he puts didn't his hand hear... on the front of the book. Is that a door, maybe? Zedric has it, and he hands the book to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, perfect. Well, I think. I don't know. Than I maybe. Okay. Yeah, sure. That would make sense. Everybody, roll perception. Uh oh. 
to say. I think we're either about to fight this guy or take 25 gold. No, I'm sorry. Let's do insight. Good. I'm going to re-roll. Insight? Keep my roll. Let's do insight. Yeah, Can nice. I keep my roll? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You said no. I'm cool, too. Okay. I'll keep my roll. Modified 15. That's not going to be good. Modified 15. 18. 18. An unnatural one. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> so you wow. rolled like a two and a negative one. <laughs> oh, 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 three, and then I have minus two and eight. <laughs> Lovely. Um, let's figure this out. Uh, Timbo, I think you were looking, you were like out on the, on the, uh, on the balcony, yeah, looking over the fight. city, yeah. smoking yeah. the pie. You, you just Checking didn't really out. notice what was going on. Yeah. Uh, Tom and Kestrel specifically, you did kind of whisper the words to each other, but you become kind of keenly aware that, uh, your, your thoughts might not be entirely safe at the moment. Mm. Well. Wow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, he had to do that book and so tapped it and said Kestrel, Zedric Hazlitt with perfect confidence. Yeah. Once she kind of realizes that, she starts going, baby shark. You see him you see him sort of shake his head. And it's all around. When she's not using worms, she's using earworms. Oh my god. What am I doing? Uh you just didn't recognize that. That's all. Okay, okay. I I want to You're sitting there, you just don't quite realize your thoughts have been. Okay, I wanna I wanna be thinking in my head like this idiot doesn't even know that Zinador is coming like coming to take over the city. He has no idea. What a fool. Didn't see that coming. (laughs) (laughs) Don't know why. Let's do a performance check. An internal monologue. Yeah, it's like an internal monologue performance check. Eleven. Eleven. Better than average. Hope you got that oculumency, bro. What? It's a Harry Potter thing. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I I didn't know if it was something actually in D&D, though, that Harry Potter took. (laughs) So what happens with an 11? Mm. We don't know. He's fine. Okay. You don't get a sense of anything. Okay. So he handed you the book and said Cedric Hazlitt and sort of tapped on it. The book is kind of like glowing. Timbo, you want to come read this? Uh, oh, no, actually, no. Uh, uh, I don't know if anybody should read this. <laughs> That's the one right there. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Finally, the MMO. <laughs> By the way, should we get Bill back in here? I mean, he's like, uh, this, 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 sorry, we, our turtle friend is waiting outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, bring him in. Uh, yes, Bill, come on. <laughs> Uh, Bill right, does not I, come in. I take the, I take the, the book. Bill doesn't come in? No. Because we told him not to? You told him not to. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's good. Okay. He's holding I take, it down. I, I, yeah. I open the book and look for this letter from uh, Zedric. When you open it, the first page uh-huh. is, is a missive from, from Zedric. Good. Um, and it reads. It says, received your message. Stop. I'm kidding. It doesn't say stop because you guys, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a telegram. telegram. Well, yeah, it, it, yeah. You guys made that same joke like three, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's your joke I'm giving back to you and you guys just stared at me like fucking deers in a head. <laughs> kind of like how you did when we gave you the joke in the first place. Correct. <laughs> um, received your message. Um, meet you in high home. And that's it. Whew. That could have been a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, I was worried. I'm not going to lie. Uh, well, Zedric is set to meet us in High Home. How about we take that 25 gold apiece and head to High Home? It's hard to argue with. Yeah, he's good. And for Bill, he's outside. Yep. Dennis just sort of waves his hand, and a bunch of gold coins sort of float over to you and stack in your hands. And and two for Timba. One for Bill, obviously. That was cool. Yes, magic opens many, many doors. I still don't um, know how I feel about leaving this city with him in control. Yeah. Did you just say that out loud? Did you say that out loud? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, sort of looks around. <laughs> you can read our thoughts anyway. Well, I don't know that. Sort of. It was lovely to have you. It was All right. lovely to meet you too, Grinch. Um... <laughs> So we'll tell Davik that he's all good then? He's in the clear? I, I don't know Davik and have not really consorted with him. And I think well, you said you saw him a year ago. He I thinks. don't know him well. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, not involved in the plan, I, I, I guess. do not trust the man as far as I could throw him, but to be fair, I could to launch him through the fair. air for quite a ways. Oh, I, of course. So you do trust him? The metaphor sort of the metaphor sort of falls apart. So wait, am I not that's not you... important. Can I grab uh, a smoke for the road? Please, at the kitchen? Please. And a couple of actual coffee, so I don't have to get okay. actual coffee, I Swill. insist. Yeah, and I you know I'm grabbing that dragon marine matter and putting it in my bag. <laughs> and I'm grabbing a little lumpy you grain made you sick. Why? Uh, you know, you never know. Never He's gonna know. combine it with the with the turtle jelly and make some kind uh, of weird thing. Make a slide of hand roll. Oh shit. There you go. Uh, 17. 17. You go to grab the plate, and when you sort of look back at him, he's standing right next to you, and his hand's on your hand. Don't touch that. Oh, uh, what is it? <laughs> he sort of moves it away. My dinner. Oh, okay, cool. My bad. Soft foods, you know. I'm old. I thought it was turtle jelly. You know how it is. <laughs> He looks, he looks, like, he looks at Kefron and goes, he like just sort of shrugs. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I'm just going to walk away now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, come, come with my hand in the cookie jar. What am I going to say? Hey, hey, I like cookies, man. Hey. Oh, but I am going to grab a smoke because that was the original thing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, as they are passing, I take uh, a cigarette that they had and I um, put another cigarette next to it. And Ooh. I tie it together, Ooh. and I light them, and Ooh. I put a couple more. No, I think that'll work. And then I slide it into his gigantic bookshelf. Yeah. Of yeah. all of the ancient tombs and like and. Elf and roll. Stuff. Okay. Now, now, at advantage because he's things. dealing with me eating his dragon matter. Ooh. Yeah, while given he's the, distracted. Given the timing, I'll say yes. Because Lindsay like very specifically jumped in while you were doing that, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll say that advantage. Lindsay, I'll, Lindsay, I'm telling you now. Plus two. It's going to need to be high. What? It's going to need to be high. It's 20. You're, you're at advantage. It's going to need to be high. That's 20. Yeah, that's 20. Uh, 20. Uh, 20. Uh, 20. So you grab them, you sort of lash them together, you, you light them. You Tuck it in between off. the pages. Um. And you what? Turn him, walk away. Um. Oh, I think we gotta get out of here now. Yeah, we gotta go, dude. Yeah. yeah, but hey, Tom. Well, there... I'm still in the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> I, I. I'm still in the kitchen. I can't. I can't. Could you speak up? <laughs> Tom, can I see you outside for a moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, mean, I was on my way out anyway. All right, so I walk out of the kitchen. Can you? Can you cast like a? mirror shield on this to oh. show that there's no smoke coming out of the bookshelf? So, uh, while I appreciate your belief in my abilities, or I don't know that I don't know that precedentation is going to get one over on him, if I'm just being honest. Where he did just try to read our minds. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, 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 we're walking outside. Yeah, no, he's still in the kitchen. We walked you're, outside. You're where? Yeah, we're like in front of the bookshelf in his little circular room. Yeah, we're like walking yeah. away. You're we're like, like in his living room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talking no, about we're that. like walking away talking about well, we're whispering. You can't actually whisper in the mind. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm yeah. just making sure. Yes, yes. I'm like, look, I don't know. If I, if I cast precipitation, he will know. Like 100%. All right. I okay. think, what did you do? I was, uh, what, did, what did you do? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You don't worry about it. Seem like we should go. She's just going, Grandpa. Don't worry about it. Should we go? Should we go? Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We're going. Atelier, Timbo. Bye, guys. I start walking to the staircase. Please come back and see me whenever you have the time. Ha. Will because you always do. All right, you have a good one. Yeah, let's walk down the stairs. Yeah. Get Bill. Let's right, go. Bill, you get Bill, Bill come on. We got to go. Bill, as soon as you say, see Bill, he, oh, and then he, he, his tail hits the, the side of the door like, <laughs> uh, no, the Bill, opening, like three times. We're good. Great job, though, Bill. <laughs> good job, Bill. Are you guys okay? Down the stairs we go, Bill. Yes. Are you guys Here's some gold stairs? for you, Bill. I think Bill. so. Is this our sixth adventure? I'm not giving him the gold. Oh. Uh, yeah, we probably Bill six. He did his job. I'm sort yeah. of losing yeah. count. I think we're still in the middle of one. He doesn't have pockets. There's not a clear line of this. So we're just, we're leaving? Yes. Yeah, we're leaving. Like, was he nice or mean or uh, surprisingly, surprisingly kind of nice? Actually, but Pearl, so you know, enslaved the city of people, so it's a little weird. Yeah. Mm. 
he was a pretty chill Disturbing dude. Disturbing is the word that I would use. Ah. Yes. A little bony. Oh, did he like chill you to your bones? Yeah. Uh, can we walk? Are we walking right now? Yeah. We're walking. We're walking. Yeah, you're walking. Go down ahead. the steps. You get all the way down the steps. Maybe let's like get a little. Let's, maybe like a little let's pep. run a little. Like maybe like a little jog. Some, you get some pep going. All right. Um, I. Are we aware I, of man, what you I did? Are there any again. horses? Yeah, I was like saying we flip Bill over and just ride his stomach all the way down. There are no horses. You want to flip Bill? <laughs> all the stairs. Like, just ride him all the way down the stairs. <laughs> all the spiral staircase. Like, Bill, just, flip over on your back. Like, like, we're gonna that's a choice you can make. It'll be so yeah. much faster. Yeah, so we can get down these stairs. I think it might hurt Bill, if I'm being honest. Uh, no, we can't do that to Bill. Right. We can't hurt okay. Bill. Uh, so Are we could. Could. I mean, we could do. We could. We could. We could. You are upset because this dude just imprisoned and tortured a dragon. You're like, let's flip this yeah, giant tiny ass back and ride downstairs. I also just tried to light his bookshelf on fire. So. I don't I know that. if we should be. We should be moving. We don't want him to put it out. That's the whole thing. We want to burn all the books. I know, but he's not going to let that happen. He's a magic wizard with dragon stuff, and he can just extinguish the fire. I don't know. The guy seemed pretty consumed with just staring out the window. If you ask me. Well, let's let's just get out. Cool. I don't even know. We, we okay. to let his bookshelf on fire. Do y'all remember seeing the grass? We need to get to the grass ASAP. Uh, we gotta get out of the city. Let's go. go. If you are halfway to the gate when you hear a yell in the distance. Uh oh. Smoke curls into the sky. Castro, yes. what did you? What did you do? And as you sort of look back over your shoulder, he lunges off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll pick it up next week. Oh, oh, my god. That was oh my god. Next time on the night shift. <laughs> Something got to you, Bob. What? I mean, no, I'm just, I just this situation will intimidate. Also, hmm. Lynn, did you realize you burned down uh, a library? Yeah. Like you burned a lot yeah, of books. That was books. And there's no printing presses now. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're on his side. <laughs> I know. I mean, that's all I'm saying. It's who just, created it's out little... of blood? And who said uh, I did that, first of all? Uh,